Wickerbottom teams well with basically every character. Let's just get that out of there at the start. If you have easy access to reads, you have infinite food. Full stop. Not to mention all of our other book-related bonuses. Anyway, the four main character combos I'll be covering in this video are Wickerbottom and Wolfgang, Wickerbottom and Maxwell, Wickerbottom and WX78, and Weber and Weber. Surprisingly enough, most of these combinations involve Wicker. Guess she's just a friendly old lady that teams with everyone, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, the original, the best, the dream team, the wombo combo. Wickerbottom and Wolfgang is definitely an extremely powerful team choice for fighting power, support, and farming. Wickerbottom can easily grow an infinite amount of berries, which she can stuff into Wolfgang to grant him double damage, a speed boost, and higher maximum health. Wolfgang's combat abilities, combined with Wickerbottom's farming abilities, allow you to gather large amounts of meat, which can be combined with berries to make meatballs. In the ruins, Farming pierogies is a good idea, because of their high health restoration. In order to farm pierogies, find an area with lots of lichen, a vital ingredient for pierogies as it counts as a vegetable in the crock pot. Lichen grows back quickly, so you don't necessarily need Wickerbottom's books to farm it. Spiders are an easy way to farm meat, another main ingredient in pierogies, which is also required to make eggs with a birdcage. The fourth ingredient can basically be anything, except twigs or mandrakes. You can easily set up a spider farm by using Wickerbottom's tentacle book, near large groupings or spider dens, or by making a normal tentacle farm, then breaking down the four middle walls and planting a spider den there. Using this method to create infinite pierogies is probably the best way to live a self-sustaining way underground. Because of the high risk factor when first exploring the ruins, pierogies are an easy way to restore lost health. This works with any characters really, but it's much better with Wicker and Wolfgang because of how Wolfgang benefits from food and how easily Wickerbottom can farm the required ingredients. Wickerbottom can also create a bee queen farm to mass produce bundling wraps for the easy storage of the many pierogies you'll surely collect on your farming endeavors. Overall, Wickerbottom and Wolfgang is an extremely powerful combination, with incredible fighting power and backup or support systems. Also, for some convenient reason, Wickerbottom and Wolfgang is a clay confirmed ship, so go team brains and brawn! The team goes while this combo is kind of lacking in combat power, they have access to a broad range of magical abilities and support tactics, such as Maxwell, Shadow Workers, and Wickerbottom's books. Their two abilities synergize together rather well, because Maxwell can actually read Wickerbottom's books. This can be useful because of how easily Maxwell can regain sanity, contrasting with how much sanity the books make you lose. But Fredo, I hear you say, you're a professional, you shouldn't be worrying about something like sanity. Well, loyal Fredist, first of all, I don't consider myself a professional. Second, being at zero sanity the entire time is really annoying, because when you try and get something done, bam, nightmare monster. By summoning one shadow duelist and two shadow workers, you can stay permanently insane. Combined with a hand bat and some armor and healing items, you can pretty much farm nightmares until you die of old age or a meteor hits and wipes out all life on Maxwell's world. And what if you want to dip out of insanity? Just kill one of the shadow puppets and you'll be back to being sane rather quickly due to Maxwell's natural regen. As with any old wicker based team, you'll be able to farm everything extremely easy due to her tentacle books, and amass a horde of blow darts with birds of the world. Wicker can also use tentacles as defences from things such as hounds and some of the seasonal bosses, which can help out Freylog Maxwell from getting his 60 year old butt smacked. Maxwell and Wickerbottom is also a ship for some reason, I guess it's because they're both old people? I don't know. Officially, Maxwell is shipped with his own shadow, so I guess it's fair that he's shipped with Wickerbottom? Why does Wickerbottom get all the action? Wickerbottom and WX78. These two are pretty cool. They have a lot of synergies together, such as the obvious Wicker being able to overcharge WX78 with her and his night book. Even though this got nerfed a while back, it's still OP AF BOI. Due to how easy Wicker can vomit out these books like a printing press, and due to the fact she can still use the and his night five times, it's still a really good synergy. Wickerbottom also gains less stats for eating stale and spoiled foods, while WX78 receives no negative effects from eating these kinds of foods. This also contributes towards him being an excellent team, because if you somehow manage to get lots of fast spoiling food, like berries, WX78 can ingest all the rotten ones to notice benefit. Yes, this benefit is a word. While overcharged, WX is quite powerful at fighting, because it can land in extra hits while kiting from a speed boost, and it can fight in the dark. Wickerbottom rigging the end is nigh near WX will actually heal it for 100 health if it isn't charged, which you can use in an emergency to prevent WX from dying. 
The combat abilities of this team can be used to kill Clockworks easier, to obtain gears for upgrading and healing WX. Also, as far as I'm aware, there is no such thing as WX and Wigglebottom being shipped. <laughs> This last synergy is different from the others. It doesn't use Wicker Bottom, and it relies on spamming the same character's abilities to form synergy. There is no limit to the amount of Webbers that work with this synergy. The more the merrier. Webber is different from other characters in that he is considered a monster. He will be attacked by mobs such as Pigmen and Bunnymen on sight, and he is able to befriend spiders. This generally means he doesn't pair up so well with other characters because of convolutions with using spider or pig farms near the base. However, Webber works extremely well with other Webbers because you can pretty much cover the entire map in spider dens. Weber starts with a free spider den, and you can also craft them with 12 silk, 6 spider glands, and 6 papyrus. While this might sound like a lot, Weber does grow a silken beard over time, and can start civil spider wars by feeding a spider to befriend it, then attacking another one and walking away before the spider is actually hit. This will cause the, the spider to attack that spider, and then a spider will attack that spider for attacking a spider, and so on and so forth. This means you can get mountains of silk, spider glands, and monster meat by doing almost nothing, especially due to the fast respawn rate of spiders. Weber can eat monster foods without any negative effects, meaning that you can basically live off the farm monster meat without need to find another food source. Weber can also upgrade spider dens by repairing them with 5 silk per tier. This means you can get a source of spider warriors, supreme spiders that have a jump attack, and have more health and deal more damage. This synergy is excellent for making a spider mega base and taking over as much of the world as you please. Weber and Weber is also an excellent synergy for caves and ruins exploration, because the amount of spiders down there is tremendous. You can even befriend the unique cave and spitter spiders, to obtain bodyguards with ranged attacks and a damage absorption ability. Spider queens are neutral to Weber, however they can't be befriended. They can still be useful because they will constantly produce spiders and spider worries, which you can use to farm meat or just as a defense. When collecting meat, you do have to watch out because spiders will instantly eat meat left on the ground, so be sure to stand right in the center of the battle so you can grab the meat as soon as possible. Overall, Weber and Weber is an extremely powerful synergy because they can get free food for doing basically nothing, and can have powerful armies of defense spiders. And I guess this can't really be shit because it's the same person. Or can it? Well, I guess I'm not single after all. <laughs> anyway, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks to Cheat Zits for being the other people in the synergies. They helped out a lot. Go subscribe to their, um, their meme channel. Or, yeah, I don't know, if you want to. Bye!